Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch, January 7th special edition, taking a look at the infrared satellite imagery. You can see the rainfall impacting California. Currently, another system hot on its heels there. Then we're going to have a much stronger atmospheric river back here with a low pressure system that's going to plow somewhere into the central California coastline here. We'll go over those details here one by one coming up. Taking a look here, look at this. This looks like supercell thunderstorms. Very convective nature to some of these storms out here. Lots of light going on in this activity here and some of this is going to translate towards the California coastline here over the next few days we'll take a look at that as well as you can see lots of cold air and unstable air back here behind the system here as we continue to bring this system one here and then another one on its heels with a low pressure system following that across the area so the storm train just continues here for the state of California now let's go over some of the details here this is the most recent European run as of last night this is showing lightning flash density potential and it's kind of picking up on that activity as we go through this morning here and brings that towards the Bay Area a bit, mainly the coastal regions here. Then a bit of a break here. And then watch as we bring in the next storm system here. It's going to target mainly Southern California here. So it's going to be thunderstorm potential with that system as well, especially as we go on into Monday night on into Tuesday morning coming up here. So just kind of showing you the lightning potential with this. You know, the thunderstorm shouldn't be the biggest player here. It's going to be the precipitation and the winds, which you're going to look at here in a minute. But this is looking at day one, except of rainfall outlook you see that moderate mainly north of the bay area here slight extends all the way south of the bay area there day two again with slight this could be upgraded to moderate as well day three this is the big one here this is coming on in through monday morning on in through tuesday here and some of this may be upgraded to high risk here i've never actually seen a high risk that i can remember i haven't been paying attention to this um, product for a long time here but i can't remember seeing a high risk here and it may be upgraded here pretty dynamic system rolling in here we're going to go into the details here in a moment this is also the national weather service san francisco bay area highlighting this threat as well they're talking about it they know it's coming hopefully they're getting the word out to everybody down there across california now taking a look at day four, Southern California is going to be targeted a little bit here too. Some of these systems have been training a little bit further south and bringing a strong atmospheric river all the way down through Southern California, including the Los Angeles Metro here, and even bringing precip down towards San Diego. And you guys know what that means if you live down there for the higher terrain. Huge precipitation amounts, landslides, all kinds of threats would be associated with this. This is day five. Again, that slight risk hanging out for the Los Angeles Metro here up towards Santa Barbara. So heads up there. Now this is Los Angeles National Weather Service talking about light rain this weekend. Strong storm Monday through Tuesday. So they are aware of it. And look at these huge rainfall amounts for the higher terrain here. Even the coastline and the valleys, two to four inches of precip coming. So pretty dynamic storm all the way down through the Los Angeles metro is coming up here. Now this is the river forecast here. So just a heads up. This is showing Sacramento, the Bay Area here. And you can see a lot of these rivers getting in towards flood stage and the monitor stage as well. So heads up, pay attention to your local authorities out there now. National Weather Service heed all evacuation warnings out there, especially through the day Monday and Tuesday. You need to be prepared as this atmospheric river is really going to come in here like a hammer. Now, taking a look at the science behind atmospheric rivers, a good a graphic here from the National Weather Service Sacramento, I believe it is, but it kind of shows California what they're up against here, especially as you get into the higher terrain there. This atmospheric river just burrows into these mountains here and really gets wrung out and dries out by the time it gets to the east side here, but it drops tons of moisture over the state of California here. And you can see how they talk about how wide they usually are and ARs move with the weather and are present somewhere on earth at any given time, like I've pointed out in the last few days there. And on average, just about 30 to 50% of annual precipitation on the west coast of California here, but it's due to atmospheric rivers. In some years, you don't get much out here, and that's why you go through these periods of drought. Now, taking a look here, cross section here, atmospheric river. These are only about 9, 10, 11, 12,000 feet tall. So when these move into terrain, they really drop huge amounts of precipitation. And that's why they don't, that's why the big rain shadow effect occurs in the Sierra Nevada as you go on in towards Nevada here. So you can see this maybe 10, 12,000 feet tall here, just this low line monster river of moisture slamming in. You'd be looking from um, east to west. If you were looking out of the Pacific Ocean towards California here at the cross section here of the, of the um, uh, atmospheric river. Now taking a look at this. So this is the GFS. These, this is the system out here currently right now. I'm going to strain this precipitation in here. 
and we start to bring stronger uh, precipitation into the California coastline here. This would be the stronger atmospheric river here. So it's going to be raining heavy rains across central California up towards the Bay Area as well. Strong low pressure system. Looks like it's going to make impact here across San Francisco. Very powerful winds on the south side of this low pressure here. And you can see the GFS now showing secondary development here, which would just continue this precipitation here across the central California coast. And I'll show you what that means here on the atmospheric river rating scale coming up with the potential for more systems moving up the California coastline here as we go on in through the six plus day period. But let's worry about this, what's coming up here, because this is a pretty dire situation for some people coming up here. This is the NAM 3KM. We're looking at 10 meter max wind gusts. So this is just showing the culmination of wind gusts here. So this is through early Sunday morning here. You see big winds coming through the valley here. Let's back up a little bit. We'll try to highlight some of these. This is coming in Saturday night, Sacramento Valley here. Check that out. Even the Bay Area is going to get really gusty as we go through this afternoon and tonight here. But now watch this next system roll in here. Look at some of these wind speeds along the coastline, up over 70 miles per hour possible. San Fran could be gusting up towards 60 miles per hour again. Look at some of the higher terrain, really big gusts. Another very strong storm system coming in here, folks. So be prepared for this. And this is going to march down towards Southern California as well. The NAM 3 cam only goes out to 60 hours shown here. Now, taking a look at precipitation. This is the NAM. 12 kilometer, a little bit lower resolution model here, but you can see, I'm just letting this play out here, and you can see what's coming through by Tuesday morning. And look at this drop down through Southern California here also, all the way down towards San Diego even as we go on in through Tuesday afternoon. So really the entire state of California needs to be aware of this next round of storm systems coming in here through midweek. This is maximum individual wave height. You know, you saw the damage that these waves can do across a lot of the coastal areas here in California here. And now as we go on in through Monday, see some of these uh, this strong wave action here going just south of the Bay Area. This is going to include really the entire coast, but you can see it's kind of concentrated here, moves down the coastline towards Santa Barbara. Even Southern California is going to get some really big waves here as we go through and probably going to cause some coastal beach erosion here, you know, damage people's property along the coastline. So heads up for that folks and then we have the potential for more big waves across the area on in through the end of next week now look at this across this is south of the bay area here look at this extreme atmospheric river prediction here on the gfs look at this just going to get in one after another and this one is going to be big problems for some people here then the potential for more after that we can see this is an ar5 category rating here that's as high as it gets here you get into extreme um, conditions there as you're over 48 hours with some pretty good vapor transport and there's that AR scale shown there now this is looking at it here so here's the initial system here that one on its heels then the stronger one starts to bear down on the central California coast shown here and look at this fetch I mean you're talking about 6 12 18 24 30, 36, 42, 48 hours with another system hot on its heels. So there's really going to be some pretty dire impacts here across the state of California. And these are driving down through Southern California at time, including the Los Angeles Metro again. So you got to be careful down there. Don't. This is not just a Bay Area thing coming up here or a Central California, Northern California co thing going on here. This is going to drive all the way down through Southern California at times. And going on through the extended a little bit more, you can see continued systems there. But we should probably worry about what's coming up here because this is a pretty dire looking storm here for portions of California. Now, this is looking at current reservoir conditions here. I saw Shasta has gone up a couple notches here the last couple days. That's a good thing. So we're going to replenish some of this as we go. But again, remember, these reservoirs do not catch all this precipitation. These are just small you know, small little areas compared to the large scale of the state here. And there's a lot of area where this rain is falling, where the precipitation cannot be caught. So it's going to cause some flooding concerns, but it is a good thing. You need this rain to live. So it's kind of a, you know, a give and take there. Now here's eight to 14 day outlook here. This was issued yesterday afternoon. Entire state of California, pretty much at least Western portions here have flooding potential, big snows for the Sierra Nevada, high winds possible. And this, well, the high winds is for that January 14th through 18th period, but this would exist for a lot of the California coast. If this were showing a, a sooner, you know, if this was covering early on into January, on in through January 10th. 
But yeah, so we're, the storm train is here, folks. Pay attention to the National Weather Service coming up here. I'm probably coming down to the Bay Area on the morning Monday, and I'll do some live streaming down there and try to cover some of the area here. We'll do some uh, weather briefings and keep people updated and whatnot too. But yeah, watch out for this stuff here. It looks like some lightning is approaching the, or the uh, California coastline here. These are pretty active here. Kind of kind of interesting. These almost look like supercells out here across the Pacific Ocean. But anyway, you can clearly see the atmospheric rivers back here. Take this seriously if you are in California, especially in the higher terrain on hillsides along the coastal areas. You know, listen to the National Weather Service. Watch the briefings here. And I'll probably be down there Monday and I'll do some live streams down there then. So anyway, thanks all my new members, subscribers, clicks, notifications. I may do a live stream tonight or tomorrow. We'll see how that goes and we'll kind of update what's coming here with this storm out over the ocean. So hope you guys are having a good day and I'll talk to you guys later.